Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48th where You already know, breaking news from OK Magazine, giving us entertainment, entertainment segment, and a story, an article written up on NeNe Leakes and what she's going to be doing for her scenes on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, from what they're stating, she's going to be filming a lot of counseling scenes, marriage counseling scenes with her husband, Greg. Okay, she don't throw the fire into the flame, okay? With well, fire in the flame, no, she don't throw a pitchfork into the flame, okay? And ready to tag Greg Leakes, okay? She only wants to film with him. She only feels like she only wants to give justification on whether or not she's cheating out there on those streets, on those social media streets, okay? That's my pun intended. That's what I'm getting from this story. But it seems like she is going to barricade, lock out, dismiss all the rest of her cast members and just give us a season of maritable or marriage problems with her husband and her and how they're going to fix the problem. So in other words, she don't turn all the hate on from her cast members and she's going to throw the spewing of hate and distaste on Greg Leakes. Can he handle it? Lord knows he just had a cancer scale. Now you're trying to give him high blood pressure, Nene. You're trying to put him in the hot seat. Girl, you're trying to kill the man. Honey, you already said you don't need high blood pressure. So don't go in on Greg the whole season 12, okay? Because we're going to come out and light you up every chance we get. Because we love Greg. We love that OG man, okay? He can't help who he was in the past. You forgot. You moved on. You married him a second time. Girl, what's wrong? Do you just need separation from yourself? Go on and get you a house to live in. Rent it. And just see how far you get and see what kind of man you're going to get. You better stay with Greg. At least you know that that little devil right there. You know he tipped out. But what gave him the reason to tip out? Or did you... Did you do something to make them tip out? Okay. I don't know. Sometimes when you get on your 50s, you have like a midlife crisis and you think the free train is just leaving you. Hey, you left the free train when you call yourself getting married for the first time. But I don't know. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to report the story. So don't come out for me. You know you're talking about it with other people. I just choose to talk about it to you all on YouTube. So don't come in my comments telling me you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. Hell, they shouldn't put it out there for me to read. Then I wouldn't have something to come back and talk to them about on the same social media feed that I got the information. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Love me, like me. It really doesn't matter. Okay, at the gram scheme of things. I would like everybody to like one another. But if we can't, we have to agree to disagree. Then okay, I understand. If you feel you just need to put ugly comments in my section, okay, do you? You have an opinion. You have an opinion on how I get down my commentary. I love them all. You know what I'm saying? And I do respond back to you. But don't get mad if I respond back to you and you don't like what I'm saying still. Okay? Because like you have an opinion, I have one too. I can have one on you just like you can have one on me okay same thing with the celebrities they're human they're, they're not untouchable okay we make them relevant how many times i gotta tell you we make them relevant while we give our reviews or commentary on them that makes them sit at that table when it comes down to negotiation time whether they'll get a better contract review by how many people love them or hate them you know it doesn't really matter if you hate or love a celebrity in the reality world it's just, are they driving sales, okay? We're the consumers. We're buying into their product. Doesn't really matter which one we gravitate gravitate to, they all going to get paid. But of course, the one that brings the most drama or the most appealing to the consumers, they're going to have a better negotiation con of, con well, they're going to have a better negotiation in uh, renewing their contract and asking for more money. Because if they're getting all uh, the negative Press or the good press, and it's making the uh, not the internet, but the entity or the entertainment business they're signed with make global zillions of dollars. See, zillions not even out there. We just feel billions, but I'm just making up another word because it can't go that way. 
gazillion dollars of course they're gonna say no we need her on the show she brings xyz it's a she's a proven factor she's a household name be it negative or, or, or positive yeah we got to keep her so we making zillions why not give her billions okay so that's just how the, the thing tolls that's how life rolls in the entertainment field okay so get with it don't blame me don't hate me. Hate the game. Like they always say, oh, geez, get down the best way because they have more experience. You know what I'm saying? So those who have eyes to see me and my commentary, thank you. Those who have ears to hear my commentary and appreciate it, thank you. And to the rest of y'all, thank you too. Okay? It all rolls around in the same bowl. I just stir it up and I still give you how I'm going to give it to you. Okay? Like it, love it, list it. I don't care. All right. Anyway, moving on, we're going to go back to OK Magazine and this wonderful writer, uh, journalist Jane Meeker, bought out this whole commentary for OK Magazine. I'm sure that's her employer. So she got to give us some dirt. She got to give us some tea. She got to give us some drama in her article in order for us to try to use it, put it on our platforms and still make it go viral you understand what i'm saying so i'm helping out this journalist as well so we we wash each other's hands however you want to put it everybody making money everybody talking about each other and it's still the same it's called mindless drama entertainment okay i don't do beasts because i just don't feel like it. i don't have the energy for it okay but i do do entertainment news because i have opinions and i don't feel like i have to go back and forth i just say what i gotta say i say it respectfully and i move the hell on okay that's what i want y'all to do get into that read the articles look at the videos entertain yourselves with all our youtube content creators out there if you like them like them love them show them okay if you don't like them damn put your opinion but don't think it's gonna be taken but like a grain of salt but it just is what it is i'm sure all of us love our subscribers we love the people to come back and want to get on us for this that and the third but okay all right i recognize it i acknowledge it so let's move on okay but don't forget to like 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 subscribe 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 and share my videos all the same okay thank you but getting back to mrs or miss jane meeker she's an employee of the okay magazine franchise so let's get into what mm. she's trying to tell us through her talents and tools okay she expresses her article, air their laundry. And I'm like, go on here and air it, honey. Go on and air it. Let's spin it. Let's dry it. And let's hang it up back in the closet, okay? That was my spill, not in her article. Her article reads, Nene Leakes filming marriage counseling sessions with husband Greg Leakes for Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? All right. She's also expressing, be in the loop with all the latest news, questions and answers, and discussions about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she's telling you to click. Okay, what I'm saying is probably clicking into the okmagazine.com. They're very reputable. Get into it. And your leisure time, go check some of their stories out. So when we do, as content creators, come on the tube and break our spiel, you'll be already familiarized with it. Okay? You're just listening to how we're presenting it to you. Okay. All right. It says the Bravo star has been open about their relationship problems. Of course, Jane Meeker, they, she's been open because she needs her storyline. And of course, unfortunately, she's giving the business, the negative business to her husband. Okay, Greg Leakes. All right. Nene Leakes and husband Greg Leakes relationship problems will play out on the upcoming seasons of Real Housewives of Atlanta. The reality star has allowed cameras to film during their marriage counseling sessions as they work to save their relationship. Really, Nene, you got to save your relationship if you want it. Either way, on camera, not off camera. But we know you don't want to film with your constituents, your co-workers. You want all the time and attention on you. I get it, baby. I get it. If Greg going to sit there and take all that verbal, mental <laughs> scrutiny, abuse that you're going to give him, so be it. So be it. As long as you cutting Greg a check, okay? Cut Greg a check. <laughs> It goes on to say she and Greg are in therapy together and it is all going to be filmed for Bravo. Okay. Yeah, we wish you had it any other way. She ain't going to let you in her life any other way, but through a paycheck and she's going to uh, dictate what is shown and what is not shown. Okay. 
hopefully it's good because if it ain't Nina, you know we coming after you and it ain't gonna be good we don't want no tears we don't want no oh feel my pain nope because you put yourself out here so if you're giving it to us raw we're gonna bring it back well done at least i am okay moving on going back to the article it says they've been having a lot of problems so they're trying to work it out and will go through their issues as the camera rolls, as so it's told. RadarOnline.com on Thursday, August 1st. Now, just my sidebar, Nene, if you really want your marriage to work, this would not be a filming uh, piece segment you would want to show for the whole season 12. Okay, I'm just saying. So I got to say, this is tomfoolery tom fuckery that you're giving us. But okay, I'll sit there. Uh, order my plate and I'll see what I can do with it. Okay, but uh, I'm, I'm still I'm I'm kind of hesitant. I'm kind of hesitant because I just see waterworks is gonna come and you're gonna put Greg on blast. Yes, you are, and you're gonna be seen as the victim as usual. But that's your card. That's your claim to fame. That's what kept you in this business as long as you've been here. The foolery, the fuckery, and okay, we're here for it. All right, moving on. That was my pun intended, my sidebar, not in this article. Okay, the source continued. Counseling has been really good for them. They're working hard on their marriage. Okay, and it gets several pictures of her and Greg together in loving moments and time, or she just chee chi uh kiki and smiling for the cameras, cheesing for the cameras, and Greg's doing his part. All right. Damn, he a dapper old G. He looks good, y'all. Mm. Okay, moving on. As we know, things went south when uh, 51-year-old Nene and Greg, 63 years old, when he was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in May 2018. We already know about that. We're going to continue to press on. The times you've been extremely mean, and I felt like I want to break up. I want a divorce. I felt alone uh and this has been very hard for me nini told her husband on march 24 episode of the real housewives of atlanta my sidebar again nini come on we have seen you when you called yourself wanting to divorce greg and he started taking up with this italian man or i forgot what what ethnicity he was but you was in new york and you was trying to date this man he was being very aggressive to you he was buying you everything but yet he was controlling and in my eyes and looking at you and your eyes you looked very uh concerned confused and you like uh -uh, i don't like this man he he might end up doing something to me i need somebody i can control and manipulate so that's why you ran back to greed <laughs> Because this man in New York, he had money and he wanted your body. He wanted to sex you. He just wanted you as a little toy. And pretty much you could tell the fear in your eyes was real. You was like, nope, I don't bit off more than I can chew. I'm just going to toy with this man. And I'm going to only film with him on camera. And we ain't finna do none of that. Because he was trying to get so close to Nene. I don't know if y'all remember. I, I can't even remember the episode. I ain't going to go that far. But if those who have eyes to see, ears to hear, let me know what season it was and then Y'all can go back and see what exactly what I'm talking about. Nene did not look comfortable filming with that man at all. He was giving her roses. He was giving her, you know, expensive watches and this, that. He was just telling her, all oh, this have a price, honey. And I want your body. Okay, I want your time in them sheets. All right. And I want to dine you in public since you so-called a celebrity uh, reality star. But I, I don't want all that. I got mine. I'm self-made. Okay. I'm in the real business world. Okay. So, the, the real movers and shakers, you're in this little comedy reality stuff that will last for a certain degree, and then where where are you going to be? But yeah, she couldn't deal with that man. I could tell she was uncomfortable. So, that shows me, Nene, you're not a real G, because you'll be like Marlo. You'll be floating between every kind of ethnicity, uh, what do you call it, culture out there, and you'll be getting paid, whether you're a high or uh, pro or, you know, you just on the low, low. I don't know. Okay, but Marlo get paid. And she's well-versed in uh, interracial dating and interracial money. <laughs> okay, she's very familiar with the exchange when it comes to money. All right, so get into it. Learn from Marlo if you want to play with the big dogs. You want to go up there and be messing with them arrows and people of that nature. Okay. <sighs> Moving on. We're going to go back to the commentary. That was just all my sidebar. Okay, then it gives us pictures where Nene and Greg first divorced in September 2011 before remarrying in 2013. I think personally, this not in the article, my sidebar again, Nene and Greg were having financial problems with the IRS. That's my thing. And they had to separate. So, you know, 
whoever had to pay that uh, massive amount of money back or whatever, they even tried to get in this tax fraud scheme thing. She had to do that. It was just wrong for the camera. She wasn't trying to go nowhere from Greg. Still ain't trying to go nowhere from Greg. She just don't want to film with her other constituents. Okay. On the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Goes on back to the article. Says Nene Storyline this season is running her business, getting back to acting, and really involving as a person to inside a reveal. Oh, uh, Nene, you got to take some classes because if you want to be a true artist, you either have to be an uh, uh, actress, you either have to be born with that talent, or you're going to study it and acquire all what it takes to be a true actor. I mean, like the ones that sit there, they can have a scene and be so emotional, you just start bust out crying from nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And that's a person that know how to act, to get down and give the audience what they need when they, when they say they want uh, crying going on or sensitivity in that area, then they have to do some type of emotions and, and inflict that in you to make you want to come out with that uh, reaction. So, you know, it, like I said, you either have to be born with the acting skill or you definitely have to learn it. Okay. Many schools out there get into it. You're 51, almost 52. Uh, mm, I don't know. You might have missed your calling as far as comedian. Uh, being a comedian, no, I, I, mm -mm, I, I've seen you before, not where well, I had to pay and see you, but you don't even cut up and make me ha-ha kiki on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You just have me sitting up there like, I can't believe this person is saying this. I can't believe this person is doing it. Damn, Nene, why you had to go that way? You know what I'm saying? But it was not something like uh, Lou Neal that made me try to chuckle here and there. Or, hell, even Ellen, uh, Kim uh, Whitley. Uh, Kim Coles, uh, I know a lot of people here, uh, Rajin Hunter, which is Kim Fields, you know what I'm saying? She made me laugh, okay? But that's what I'm saying. She's just an actress. She wasn't being in the comedy uh, realm or anything. But I'm like, no, the uh -uh, best you can give us is the little drama. Uh, I want to say gold digger because you out there making your own money. But, you know, you're thirsty and you're hungry for that money and you're on the grind. So you're going to try to get it however you can get it. And I understand that. But your call to fame is drama, mindless, senseless drama, and backbiting and, and catfighting. That's what you 100% has prescribed in and you're getting paid lucrative for it. Okay? So just stick in that area. That's just my opinion. Take it for whatever you want. Throw it in the trash. Whatever. But like I said, I'm still making you relevant because your name is coming out of my mouth. And sometimes it's good, sometimes majority of times it's pretty bad because you treat people bad. But I have to give you your props. This is where you shine in. The foolishness, the fuckery, entertainment, drama, mindless entertainment. So, I mean, I give you, I have to give you your, uh, your kudos, okay? But what I really like to see is for you all to come out and try to get and do a YouTube channel on certain uh, YouTubers. You know, even if you had to do it on me, that would be fair play. That would be fair play turning about. You know what I'm saying? Clock your own tea and then go after the YouTubers that have definitely been um, giving you hell or you feel like have given you hell over the time span of you've been out in the public as a reality celebrity star. That would be cute. That would be a cute thing. So if you ever take my advice, remember to drop me some coins, some dollars, uh, some free press, uh, whatever, because I'm the only one that I'm sure told you to get a YouTube channel and talk about YouTube content creators, okay? Yes. All right, moving on. Um, then, you know, it gives her uh, lovely pictures of her being uh, very uh, intimate or showing some kind of loving, uh, I don't know, my motif of, of when she's taking these clips, she's kissing, she's embracing, she's Acting like she's the dutiful uh, married wife that's trying to save her marriage. When all the thing Nene is basically doing is trying to secure and keep the bag flowing in her bank account. Okay, now don't get me wrong. I think she do love Greg. Yes, I do. But he has his place in her life at this time. When she wants some, you know, spontaneity. She wants some uh, true romance. She's going to try to look at it around somebody her age or maybe a little younger i don't know and greg he's seasoned he's seldom he just want attention he wants you to be there with him all the time he wants to sit and grow old and he's kind of grown old of this reality type of bullshit but like greg like i said you put her in here you address that she be in time be in this type of entertainment so you know you just have to sit there you created a monster pretty much 
she done got bit by the entertainment bug and she's going to ride it till she feels like she wants to sit down on a porch and, and rock and a rocker with you. Okay. Would that be anytime soon? Oh, no, because Lenny likes people to look at her, to ask her to be at certain events. Yes, she loves it. And she loves to be in the Caucasian world. Yes, Lord, I think if she could change overnight, she would without hesitancy. All right, but that's just what I get from her. That's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I like Nene, and I don't like some of her demeanor, oh, her ways. You know what I'm saying? And then certain, they, some people can say the certain things about me, you know? But I'm going to try to give it to you best as honest as I can. I'm not going to come up here and dog you just because, you know, I'm going to dog you. Or I just don't like you because if I don't like you, I'm not going to say anything about you. You know what I'm saying? If I just really just despise you, which I try not to despise or dislike or, you know, hold anger to anybody. Because, like I said, it's just too exhausting. And, you know, I'll do, I'm a spiritual person. I want to get into that heavenly realm. So I'm just trying to pick and choose my battles. But when I see something, I got to speak on it if it disturbs me. Okay. It's better than talking to myself. It's better than talking to myself. Okay. But anyway, that's all I had on that story. That's, you know, she keep it cute and light and refreshing. And then I have to throw my sidebars in there here and there. You know what I'm saying? Just hey, touch, touch and agree with my spirits. I had to spit it out. Tell you what I feel about it. And then I'm done. Okay. I done moved on to the next story. Does somebody want to come back and comment? And I have to go back and say, okay, what did I say? When did I say it? Okay. I agree with you. I don't agree with you. Let's do this. Let's agree to disagree. Moving on. Okay. So y'all enjoy y'all Saturday. I'll probably come back with one or two more videos. I think I'm going to try to do a live today to show people how to uh, make jewelry from clay. That's going to be interesting because I tried to do it on somebody's platform and they wanted to charge. I, I ain't finna pay nobody to sit up here and show them how to do something free and then they go and they own the spare time, go on and make something pretty and, it, and they wear it or sell it. I mean, I'm giving you a skill to try. I'm giving you, giving you my talents that I've tried to uh, cultivate over the years. So I don't feel like I want, I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay for nobody's, um, what do you call it? A contest. You know, I'm, it's not like I'm really, really showcasing. Like I'm getting all dressed up. I'm coming with a mic and I'm finna tie the house down and you're giving me your platform to use. That's something different. But when I had to sit in my house, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling comfortable. I got my sequins cooler in one hand. I got some clay in the other. It's just about relaxing and y'all getting the vibe that I'm trying to give, which is total relaxation. That's what clay and making clay jewelry does for me. I make my own. It just, you have the clay between your hands. It's like making pottery. Playing with clay and molding and shaping it. And then see what you come out with as a finished product. And then you can say, hey, I made this. It's one of a kind. You know what I'm saying? And it makes you feel good inside. Okay? But that's all I had for this video. This segment come back. Like I said, I'm going to try to do that today. If I can get the enlist help. From my daughter and maybe her boyfriends because somebody got to film me because i got to get another computer where i can try to do it on my computer but i'll be doing this uh diy do it yourself do it yeah diy uh by my uh cell phone so i don't know when uh i'm gonna be able to do it or when i'm gonna do it it's just i'm gonna go live and who's here to see it will experience it with me in color in action, and we're going to see what we come up with as a finished product. And then, of course, you know, I'll save it and um, put it on my YouTube so people can catch the replay. But, yeah, that's what I plan on doing, putting them out, maybe a couple of try to do that DIY, and then um, closing it out for the day because I really want to sit back and watch some mindless TV uh, drama, probably Twilight Zone or, I don't know, some crazy sitcom me and my daughter may uh, look at on Netflix. Uh, yeah, but that's all I had guys. Peace and blessings to you all. Catch your next video and remember subscribe and like my videos. Share if you feel accustomed to doing that. It really does help me out. All right. And I appreciate you and I'll see you next video. Take care. Have a blessed weekend and a happy Saturday. 